So now we're going to talk about normals, UVs and submeshes. When you're just starting, these concepts are a little bit less important than getting an understanding of points, triangles and submeshes. But we'll go over these now so you guys have a reference to come back to if uh, you have any issues with any of them. And it's worth having a basic understanding of what these do. And if you don't pick it up right away, that's okay. It'll come to you. When a mesh is drawn in Unity, things like lighting and shaders affect the color and brightness of the triangles. Normals are how we control the lighting and shaders um, to a degree. Each vertex has a normal associated with it, but what is a normal? In terms of data, a normal is a direction expressed as a vector 3. Each normal is assigned to a vertex. The direction of normals for vertices assigned to a triangle influences how the edge is shaded. The normals for each vertex on this triangle are pointing outwards. Let's see what happens when we make all the normals point in one direction. As you can see, the edge is smooth now. We'll go more into normals later on. Another thing we can do to make faces look different is assign them different submeshes. What this means in practical terms is we can assign different triangles different materials. Again, we pass in references to each triangle to a submesh array. This is really useful if you want to make meshes with different colors and materials. We're not going to worry too much about UVs in this course. The concept of UVs is mainly used for adding textures to your models. Anyone who's done any 3D modeling will probably be aware of how much of a pain UV unwrapping can be. Okay guys, so that's a bit more basic information to take in. What we're going to do next is create a class called a Mesh Builder that will help take a lot of the pain out of creating geometry while applying the concepts we've just gone over. We can totally do it. We're going to do it together and we'll be up and running very quickly. So let's move on to the next lesson.